everybody, it's Brooke. Welcome back to another episode of the A Knit Soul Podcast. My name is Brooke, and I'm the owner and dyer behind Fully Spun, where I hand dye wool roving and have it spun at a mill, and that creates a wonderful yarn with a really cool uh, color effect. You can find me on Instagram as Brooke Knits, on Ravelry as This Brooke Knits, and the podcast and Fully Spun also have Ravelry groups. Um, if you are a new viewer, welcome, and if you are an existing viewer, welcome back. And um, if you fit into either of those categories and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely um, take a second and subscribe so that you can see more craft and lifestyle videos from me. And while you're at it, go ahead and like this video as well. Right now in the Ravelry group, we're running the 2018 Sweater Cow, which is a year-long uh, knit crochet along, and uh, there will be quarterly prizes. So I have a few prizes for this first quarter, which I'll insert pictures of, and as well, um, the drawing for that will be the first week in April. Um, I'm really excited about um, the sweaters that I've seen so far, so thank you guys for participating. And um, if you are working on an adult sweater, this year, definitely hop in and um, let us know what you're working on. I have quite a few on my list for this year, <laughs> and currently that's my focus project as a sweater, so um, I'll talk about that a little bit later, though. Alright, so there are no finished objects this week. There could have been, but I um, have been working on my sweater, which I actually did end up frogging and restarting. So we'll just jump into that one. Um, this is the Georgetown sweater, Georgetown Cardigan by Hannah Fettig. And I'm knitting it with Malabrigo's, Malabrigo Rios in the Pearl and Paris Night colorway. And so... Um, Last episode, I was talking about how I realized that I was actually knitting the seamed version instead of the seamless version of this cardigan, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to rip it out and kind of gave the reasons why I would or wouldn't rip it out. Um, most The most reason was that it's there's no real construction reason why it needs to be seamed, which is why there's also a seamless version. And then also, because the yarn is pretty variegated, I did not want um, the variegations to not match up and to look bad. So that's a really nitpicky detail because it is mostly the same, but I will say that it does look less variegated uh, on the panel that's this wide as opposed to what I was working on before. So right now I have finished the waist decreases and just started the first waist increase. And so um, I am cracking along on this. I've got 19 inches before I split for the uh, for the fronts and for the back and so I'm just would like to get this done but um, I'm still kind of in that mode as far as being pretty brain dead and you know not trusting myself with anything that's too complex so that's why I've really just been focusing on this when I do have time to knit I also have quite a bit of stuff going on um, with fully spun so uh, most of my free time outside of my regular job has been focused on that as well so the knitting time has been a little bit uh, a little bit reduced <laughs> but that's okay we go through those times and then we go through times when we're also super productive so you know that's just that's the crafty life that we live all right so um, my other work in progress is something that you all have also seen before this is the vintage prim by Andrea Maori and I'm knitting this with uh, fully spun yarn in the i95 colorway and also with some Cloudborn Highland Fingering, uh, which is Craftsy's uh, brand of yarn. So I started with just 40 grams of the navy blue, and I have this much left, which is definitely enough to finish the hat, so I was really happy about that. I was kind of concerned when I started, but figured I could just purchase more. And I'm really happy with the effect of the yarn. Um, this one is called I-95 because I was sitting in traffic uh, during the summer, um, last summer, and I was like, oh, that would be a really pretty colorway. And so um, I translated it into a colorway, and I really like how the striping kind of has that same sky effect. Um, although this section is the yellow section, which was kind of pulled from the, the stripes on the side of the road. So... Um, not a, you know, 100% uh, correlation, um, but definitely a pretty fun colorway. And this is going to be a pretty fun uh, slouchy beanie, uh, which is going to be just a, 
a sample for show. So I have a show on the 17th and the show on the 18th. And so I um, should have it finished by the next time I record. I also purchased a uh, faux fur pom-pom from Knit Picks uh, to go on top. So <laughs> once, that, um, once that's done, this hat will be very extra and very fun. All right, you guys, in acquisitions, I have broken my yarn diet <laughs> kind of accidentally. Um, so I was on Instagram and I saw the inspiration picture for um, Tara of Mitchell's Creations uh, February colorway, which was called Cup of Love, and it was a pink mug of hot cocoa with marshmallows. And so I also, she posted that she just had one of each base. And I saw that she had this gold sparkle base and I was like, I need to purchase this immediately. And so I did. Um, and I actually also purchased one skein for my sister, but just in the version without the sparkles. I really hope you guys can see the gold Stellina in this. I just love that and it's everything. And then I also looked at her March uh, colorway theme, which is like some teal butterflies, which is right up my alley. So of course I purchased that too, mm -hmm. also in the um, gold... Uh, the Le Fleur base, which has the gold Stellina in it. And then also, um, I received this gift from one of my uh, local knitting friends. Uh, she actually hosts a knit night that I go to on Thursdays. And this is from Lola Bean Yarn Company. And this is a Black Panther colorway. And this is a DK weight base, which is really squishy and, and smushy. And um, I still have not decided what I was going to make it with it yet. I'm thinking either a cowl or a hat. Uh, the pattern I was looking at calls for 120 grams though, and this is only 100, but I'm really excited. Um, of course, I saw the movie. Of course, I loved it like everyone else. <laughs> um, it was amazing. And so if you haven't seen it yet, shame on you, and definitely you need to head out and go see it <laughs> as soon as possible so that you can... Um, so that you can have that as part of your life experiences because it's very important. So just an amazing movie. And the um, this came with a little Black Panther action figure too, which which is really cute. So um, that is Lola Bean Yarn Company. Uh, she put up some pre-orders recently for a new um, Wizard of Oz collection, but she did not put up more Black Panther pre-orders. So I'm not sure... Um, if and when she's planning to do that, but I really like her take on this color and I think it'll be really cool once it's actually made into something. I've also been purchasing a lot of patterns, which I did want to just go through and um, show you guys some pictures of some pretty cool patterns, um, including uh, the Flamingo Flavor by Sosu Knits, which is a syncopated brioche triangle shawl, which I'm very excited about and I'm planning to use this yarn on. Um, paired with maybe a light gray. I think a light gray would be really pretty with this. Um, and then also uh, a special mention is the Kaluna Socks by uh, Becky Sorensen of Soprano Knits. Um, they have this really beautiful texture detail on the leg and so I, I'm excited to have a chance to actually sit down and make a pair for myself. Uh, I'd also like to um, announce uh, some stuff that's going on with Fully Spun. So like I mentioned earlier, I have a show on March 17th in, in Falls Church, Virginia, and then a show on March 18th in Savage Mills, Maryland, which is the Homespun Yarn Party. And um, in order to find out more information about either of those, either head to my website and check out my Etsy or head over to Facebook. I've added both of those event pages to, to my um, Facebook page, which is just Fully Spun. And then, um, as well, I have done a collaboration with Francois of Aroha Knits uh, for her Dreamer issue 2018, which just released about a week ago and includes two patterns which feature fully spun yarn. And so I'll insert uh, both of those patterns here. The first one is Ice Scapes and the second one is uh Phlegathon, which means fiery river, <laughs> um, is a little tough to pronounce, but I created two custom colorways uh, for those patterns, and I have those kits available in my shop, and also the yarns available individually, um, and I will be um, continuing to bring those back um, throughout the rest of the year. I've also got some other exciting stuff coming up, some that I can't talk about 
um, some that uh, you may have noticed an obvious change, uh, change of scenery. Hopefully my light's not too low. Um, I'm shooting in the afternoon, so I started with decent light. I think right now it might be a little bit dark. But um, anyway, I have transformed my bedroom into a studio, and I've transformed the rest of my apartment into what's effectively like an efficiency. So there's no walls, but my bed, I have a little bed area and a living room area and a kitchen area, which, you know, my kitchen also functions as a studio <laughs> when I'm actively dying, which these days is every day. Uh, so, um, but this space is, is really fun and cool and I have a lot of cool plans for it. It's like every artist's dream is to be able to have your own studio and I can sit at my desk and look out the window. And so that's been a really exciting change. Um, I'm glad that uh, sort of both necessity and um, just I, that I finally did it without having to move to a bigger apartment. So that's a really exciting change for me. Um, it is uh, definitely I really like having a separate space. So you guys will probably see more changes depending on how this video goes. I might end up adjusting my filming location. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Definitely will not always film in the evening, <laughs> but um, that's just how it worked out this weekend. So yeah, so um, I don't really have a can't let it go for this week. I, I realize I've kind of been forgetting that segment, <laughs> um, but we'll bring it back for next time. And for now, I'll let you guys go. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you didn't like and subscribe at the beginning of the video, now's your chance to go ahead and do that so that you can see more craft and lifestyle videos from me. Um, as, al as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.